I want to learn how to mix and learn how to cook. I don't understand. Can you explain? I said, you're not ready. You're just not ready. But that's what I learned about in terms of life and the importance of, of a great life, a great detailed life and friends. And a sense of faith, a sense of unfolding beauty and reveal as you walk, walk the world. You take that into your recording. So that's part of what you do as an artist. That's that sense of faith. Yeah, don't you think, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I get up every day and just, you know, look forward to it. Yeah, but not every day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about um, your own company. You founded George Massenberg Lab. Well, I more founded it just to have a vehicle to make more of these boxes that I could use. Well, I was going to say, what was the goal? What was the goal to achieve? Well, anything that I built, I built to solve the problem. The Paramount Equalizer was a project to help to uh, properly tune into and sort of fit into a mix bag. You know, I have this. There's great experience going up with great reporters from great musicians and great studios. Great studios. And I thought, well, it was the engineer that did that. It wasn't the musician. Well, I seem to find out much later that the musicians really had studied the time where they're in some big collections and knew how to tune drugs. And growing up in Baltimore in the recording business, we were very modest musicians and very modest sound. So part of the development of the time, which is, you know, is a filter, a way to Specifically filtered musical aspects of, uh, of the source of the asset. And, and it, was a, it was a problem that they weren't going to fix, and I didn't have the musical language to tell them how to fix, but I did have the electronics to know how to build something to fix those funny sounds that their instruments made that made for unpleasant listening. So, so, what was the concept behind that, though? I mean, I'm not an engineer, so I don't really understand it. So when you say to fix those things, if you, what were you trying to fix? If you had a snare drum with an inharmonic overtone, now this is really boring. I'm even boring myself, so I can get through it quickly. If you have an instrument with an inharmonic overtone, that colors your entire mix in ways that take critical listening and evaluation to identify. We didn't have that thing. We really just heard a snare drum. It was a snare drum. So digging into that and finding out what makes the snare drum sound like it's in tune or out of tune, not only the basic resonance, but the overtone tune, the equalizer would do a lot to counter to shape the sound of an instrument. And that's how the equalizer is evolved. And better practitioners know how to use it. 